Hello, this is evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I know I haven't made a video for uh, a while because I've been trying to keep the peace. Just like my shirt here says, I don't know if you can see it or not. At the top, it says, Blessed are the, down below it says, Peacemakers. And it has a Amer like American flag with the uh, blue stripe and a silhouette of a police officer. Blessed are the Peacemakers, which is one of the... Uh, what is considered the Beatitudes or the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus had said. But that's not what I'm going to be preaching on today. Today is Good Friday. That is when Jesus was crucified for our sins. And he took the place of Barabbas, who was a troublemaker, causing problems, stirring up strife, just like a lot of you uh, internet trolls are doing. The soldiers mocked Jesus. They stripped him. They put on... Uh, put uh, on him a scullered robe, twisted a crown of thorns and put on his head, and put a reed in his right hand, and then they bowed on their knees before him and mocked him. Just like they do with Christians today, they mock Christians day in and day out. They nailed Jesus to the cross, put a sign over his head that said, um, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. And Jesus dies on the cross. Now, from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lama. That's my new police scanner. Uh, picks up the marks. Uh, system radios that's talking and how then uh, where was I Eli Eli Lama anyhow it is translated as my God my God why have you forsaken me some thought he was uh, calling out to Elijah And then Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yelled, yielded up his spirit. Basically, in some of the other Gospels, he, they, they record that he said, it is finished. And then he gave up his spirit. I'm not reading the uh, rest of the Gospels because you know basically they're all basically saying the same thing except a little bit different accounts of it some of you people all love uh, causing strife Jesus was a peacemaker 
yes, he caused some troubles that the uh, elite didn't uh, like. Just like, while well, you people don't like what I do or say. Because you think you're better. And by the way, we have a, a, a kitten here uh, now uh, in our home for about a week. Actually, until around the 12th. That is uh, Jeannie and Mark's, I mean, excuse me, Jeannie and John's, Jeannie and John's kitten. Not Angel and uh, Mike's. Angel and Mike has two little doggies. And um, Jeannie and John had went to Florida, so they left the kitten with us so that um, Angel doesn't bond with the kitten and start giving the kitten cake and ice cream because uh, Jeannie doesn't want Angel doing that. She wants Basically, the kitten, to, you know, have kitten food and all natural, you know, stuff. Not, uh, it's been having a, a cold or something uh, in its nose, nose and sinuses. So, this is something that, that they also had uh, bought and been having me, they were giving it to her and then also having me give it to her as well. All natural antibiotic for pets of all sizes. Just a teeny bit in the dropper. So we've been doing that as well for the kitten. You can get up here in the window. Pergirl's not up here. Pergirl's been hogging the window because <coughs> she's a big cat, but yet she's afraid of the kitten. And our other cat, Queenie, she's, uh, well, okay to a point. Uh, she's, you know, going basically blind and, you know, she follows a path that she knows by, you know, from the kitchen into the living room and into down the hall to the bathroom and into our ba bedroom. So she follows this, this path that she knows. And uh, sometimes she has to go off that path, and um, but she remembers how to get around to a point. Now, do not disturb her girl. Her girl will get you. See, see. Her girl, trying to tell you, stay away from her. So, I mean, she's a kitten, and we have to basically put everything up so she doesn't get into it and try to keep uh, her and the other cats uh, separated as much as possible. Her name is Miracle because I guess she was abused by whoever had her before. That's what uh, Jeannie was telling me. And, um, so, you know, hey, there's some truth there that you people have been lying about. That I'm still not doing anything for my neighbors. Well, I do to a point. There are things that, uh, excuse me. That I just cannot do. I'm not going over and, 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 uh, and above what I can do just because somebody thinks I should. And I want to get this straight right now. John Andrews Stan. Thank you. Thank you. you are a troublemaker. And the rest of you on Kiwi Farms are nothing but a bunch of troublemakers. 
putting my my cousin's business trailer photo on Kiwi Farms and then saying all the lies that you're saying. My cousin has been in the business of washing not just ceilings but you know a power washing uh, he started out with what was called wash on wheels wow w-o-w -W, wash on wheels and then he branched out on his own when wash on wheels kind of faded out and then uh, Uh, you know, basically branched out. I worked with my cousin. I worked with him. He mostly works at nights. Because he has to go into a, a place of business, a store, or a restaurant. And clean their ceilings. We also did uh, kitchen ceiling. Uh, kitchen, not just uh, ceiling. I mean, the walls. And the the um, the hoods that goes over the, uh, the stoves. We did a lot of cleaning and re uh, restoration work on those. He does not do re like what you people think he he's, he does. It's just basically cleaning, cleaning a cleaning service. He sprays a chemical on the on the ceilings, and then we wipe it all down with. Uh, sponges on these big poles and you know it, it, it takes a lot of time but we mostly did it at night when the place was closed so there wasn't any employees around and then and I had to move things and then put things back and a lot of labor intensive work uh, um, But he's been doing this since 1980. And yet you want to lie? That he can't back it up? Excuse me. When someone's been in business and they have contracts with other businesses, who dare you? Who dare you? I mean, excuse me. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Wanting to try to destroy someone else's business. Just because they're a McKim. Who do you think you are? You're no... You're, excuse me. I'm sorry. You're new... You're... You're... You know what? That comes out of your derriere. Stinks just like everybody else's. You are no better than anybody else on the face of this earth. If you think you are... Well, more power to you. More power to you. Bring it on. Come on, bring it on. I'm sick and tired of people like you that think you're better when you're not. Leave my family alone. And better off, leave me and my ministry and my nonprofit organization alone because I have all the documentation, all the proof. To prove that I can do what I can do legally. If you don't like it, grow up. Stop being a bunch of stupid babies. And I think you just you uh, are better. You're not. Like I said, the you know what that comes out of your dairy air stinks just like everybody else's. You're no better. Grow up, leave me and my family alone. Because now, when you're messing with my family and their and their and their businesses, <sighs> just because you think you're better, and the internet gives you that. Power, that you know what the internet doesn't give you any power. 
whatsoever. Because once we find you out, that power is going to be taken away from you that you think you have. You don't have any power. You don't have no power over me. You don't have no power over my family. You don't have no power whatsoever. You just think you do because you know how to uh, hack. Let me tell you something about hackers. You're just a bunch of bullies. You're a bunch of bullies. You're a bunch of um, troublemakers. Just like the kids in school picking on the little kids on the playground. That's what you do on the internet. Well, I I I know without a shadow of a doubt that my my that Renee's mother's husband still watches my videos. So I want you to tell that person that's using your name to stop harassing me and harassing my family. If you don't, then because they're using your name. That means you're just a big part of it as uh, that person is. So until you can stop them from either using your name or stop them from saying all those lies and everything that they've been saying about me and my family. This world isn't big enough for both of us. One of us is going to have to go and it's not me. Now it's not a threat. It's a warning. Think you because you're six something. What? How? How tall is John? Six three. Because he's six three, and he's big, and he was in the, in the army. Doesn't make him the best person on the face of the earth. That's why he looks short. I look short compared, and Renee looks short compared to him because he's six three. I'm five five. Well, I gotta get off here because the kitten wants a uh, mark here on my uh, computer and and. Um, Getting the things that I shouldn't be getting into. So I gotta get off here and um, get this video uploaded when I can here. You know what I'm talking about. Heed, heed, heed my word. God bless you. Have a blessed day. I know I will.